Hello friends, how are you all doing? I hope everybody is fine, staying safe and healthy at their home. Myself Seema Singh and today I am here with the content related to maths and today's topic is being taken from class 3. So continuation to the topic that we have co covered earlier that is the large number and in our earlier classes or the sessions we have studied about the expanded form and successor and predecessor of a number. Continuing to that we are going to cover the other contents of the same topic the large number. So the today's content that we will be covering will be four digits number will be try to understand what do we mean by four digit numbers and number names that is how do we name any given number and what are the various place values and face value of a four digit number. So let's start with the contents. Let's start with four digit numbers. What is a four digit number? Yes, we know that four digit number, a number which have four num digits in it. Earlier, in our earlier grade, we have studied up to three digit number. So, let's, let me ask you a few questions. That is, do we know that what is the greatest three digit number? Yes, it's 999 that is 999 now when we add 1 to this that is when we add 1 to 999 what we get we get 1000 yes and this 1000 is a smallest 4 digit number it is a smallest four digit number and also it is equal to 10 100 that is 1000 can also be called as 10 100 and one more important thing that the 1000 is a four digit number that we get when we add one to it now continuation to this what is the greatest four digit number the greatest four digit number is nine 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 that is nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine so we have seen here that a new place has been added to a number initially earlier we have studied that to the three digit numbers the places are of three digits only and now when we study about four digit number a new place is added to that number and what is that place that place is a thousand so therefore here nine 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 can be called as nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine now let's try to understand how we are going to name these numbers name four digit numbers we are going to see few numbers for our understanding now here we can see the first number is two four five six how we are going to name it we are going to name it two thousand four hundred fifty six because the fourth place in a number is thousand Let's take one more example. 8903. What is the name of this number? 
it is 8903 yes because the value at the tens place is 0 so it is 903 let's move on further After understanding what are four digit numbers and how do we name them, let's try to understand what is place value. How do we define a place value and how we can understand a place value of a four digit number. So, with the picture given here on our right, we can see the place value of a digit is determined by the position of that digit in a number. We can say that place value of any digit in a number is the position or place of that digit in a number. Now in the picture on our right we can say that place is the location. It is the location of the digit in a number and value, value is the worth. It is a value is the worth in numerals of, of that digit. Therefore, it is called as place value. The location of a digit in a number and what value it have with respect to number is termed as place value value. Now, we have four places in a four digit number. Till now we have understood this thing that there are four places in a four digit number. Likewise, there are three places in three digit numbers. Earlier we have studied and we have seen that there are three places in a three digit number. Similarly, there are four places in a four digit number. Now let's try to understand what are these four places. So the places are ones starting from the right side. The first one is ones. Then comes our tens. Then hundred. And last one is the thousand. So the four places that we can see in a four digit number are ones, tens, thousand, hundred and thousand. Coming to our face value. We have seen and we have understood about place value. What is a place value? Let us try to understand what is a face value. So, face value of a digit is the digit itself. That is it doesn't have to do anything with the position or the place of a number of the digit in the number. It don't have to do anything with the position and place of a digit in a number. It is the exact face or the number or the digit itself. Then the face value of a digit always remains same. We have seen when it don't have to do anything with the position and a place of a digit in a number, then the face value will always remain same irrespective of any position or any place it is there in a number. Let's see few examples of a four digit number and try to understand their face value and place value together. So here we have a number 3679. The face value of 3 is 3 whereas the place value of 3 is 3000. The face value of 6 is 6 whereas the place value of 6 is 6. The face value of 7 is 7. We have seen the number will be 
the uh, the digit will be itself it won't change irrespective of any position or place in a number so the face value of 7 is 7 and the place value of 7 is 7 tens or 70 similarly the face value of 9 is 9 and the place value of 9 is 9 ones i hope we were able to understand till here so that's all for the day now let's do the quick recap of what all things we have learnt. We have learnt about four digit numbers, how an additional place is added to a three digit number and that place is called thousand. Then we also learnt about how we name these four digit numbers and we have also seen today that what are the place values and face values? How to differentiate these in a four digit number? This is a small home assignment that you can do, and it's a very easy one. It is related to the topic that we have studied today. We will be able to do it. In any case, if you are not able to solve these questions, you can just comment. In the comment box below I can provide you the solution and we will be discussing it and it is an easy one for sure we will be able to do it that's all for the day I hope you might have enjoyed this session thanks for watching my video and please do like share and subscribe my channel for all the upcoming videos related to science and maths and if you have any to specific topic that you want me to prepare on it or make a video on it please do comment in the comment box so everyone till we meet next stay home stay safe thank you